Okay. All right, what's up? I'm Eric. And I'm Josiah. And this is Project Insight. Okay, so Josiah and I were talking the other day, uh, looking at some scripture that talks about uh, the Holy Spirit and how as a Christian, as a born-again believer, you are indwelt with the Holy Spirit and your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and uh, He leads you and guides you and directs you. Uh, so it's just, you know, we, we go to church, we hear these sermons and they preach it and we say amen, but how do we practice that? What does that look like with skin on? Mm -hmm. Do we have any testimonies that, you know, can help give us guidance? What does this look like? And so I was talking with Josiah, and he has a pretty cool story that really depicts what does the voice of God sound like. So, Josiah, tell us your story. What do you got? So, when I was a kid, um, I asked my dad and my mom one time, I was like, how do you know God speaks to you? Sure. I mean, just a normal question I think a lot of people ask. You know, I was probably, honestly, I was a little older, so I was probably like uh, 14, 15 years old. So. Okay. Like I, I, I kind of knew, at least I'd been involved in church, and so I knew a lot of people said they had heard from God, but I, I didn't know what that meant. And so, like, uh, I, asked, I remember asking my dad, and he was just kind of like, well, uh, you just know, you pray, and he answers it. And I was just kind of like, okay, that's a, that's a preacher's answer. Um, and, but he wasn't, he wasn't wrong, but it, it just didn't satisfy right. what I was, what I was, looking for. You didn't really second guess his belief, but he didn't articulate it in a way that clicked with you. You're like, right, right, right. And so nobody knew this, but I was kind of going on and praying on my own. And I literally thought that God's voice was going to be audible. Like maybe in your dreams, you just heard this audible voice. It's like, you know, there's a story in the Bible about Samuel and Samuel literally just heard God's voice and he literally got up and ran and thought it was, you know, another person speaking or whatever, but it was really God. And so that's what I thought. I thought sure. literally I was going to hear a voice. Sure. And so it really, so I was just praying that I could hear God. Yeah. And I didn't know how that was going to play out. And um, so fast forward, I don't even know how much further past that. I mean, it's probably weeks, maybe months, maybe even a year uh, past that. And I, and I prayed it a couple of times because I just, I, I always just had this kind of like, eh, I don't, I just don't get it feeling about the whole situation. And one day I'm in church and so my dad's a pastor. I'm on the front row and on the front row, People in my dad's church or our church, they would wave flags during praise and worship, which I know not every church does that, but um, in this particular church, they would come in and they would wave flags and they would say like powerful messages and people would just be worshiping God through banners. Okay. Okay. Sure. And this one particular individual, he was up on his flag game. Okay. <laughs> 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 he brought his own flags like it literally oh, yeah. looked like a pool cue sack you know with like mm -hmm. you know it was long and all this other stuff and they were all rolled up nice and he's like setting them out and getting them all assembled and all this other stuff and I'm thinking oh my goodness mm. I mean well, we've like, all done it I mean <laughs> sure okay and, this guy's a little yeah, much yeah okay. right he's got strong with the flag game right and um so he starts assembling these flags and all this other stuff, and then finally, like, church gets going, praise and worship starts and all this other stuff. They start waving the flags, and I'm like, oh, I can't wait till this is over, right? Like, this is, this is too much, right? Like, I, I don't, I don't, I just want to be back. And um, this guy, in the middle of the first song, he's waving this big flag, and he, like, <laughs> lays it down in the middle of the floor, in between the front rows and the stage, and it's just taking up all the space and people are like praising God and they're just kind of scooting over and stuff like that. And I'm just like, you can't be bothered to pick up your flag. And uh, he goes and gets another one. And I'm, Rude. Uh, yeah. I'm just <laughs> like, uh, hello, yeah. there's a, you left something there. And I'm yeah. just like, you know what? Not my problem. I'm yeah. just, I'm out. Right. I'm just, I'm just going to sit back and this will be over soon. Right. And uh, so, so your spiritual gift is patience. <laughs> okay. No, keep, keep going. Keep going. So the second flag comes out, and he, or he's just waving it or whatever, and it gets into the you know the second song. He lays it down, walks over and gets him a third one. I'm like, 
is anybody else seeing this? Is this not bothering anybody? He lays, he goes down and he lays that second one down, goes to get the third one. He's waving that one around and he himself is walking around them. And I'm just like, now I'm starting to become like, why in the world is this guy laying all these flags, taking up all this real estate? Now, it, like, people can't walk through here. I'm like having a crisis here on the front row and I'm like looking around. <laughs> Nobody even seems to care. I'm just like, uh, hello? Yeah. Dude, you're taking up all this space, like, it's rude. But I'm, at the same time, I'm just like, I'm trying to stay out of it, whatever. And then um, he lays the third one down. He goes and gets a fourth one. Hello. Besides the question of how many flags does this guy bring to church? <laughs> he's got his fourth one. He's waving it around. And all of a sudden, I, I'm like, I feel like I, you should go pick up those flags. Yeah. It's like just a thought or, you know, something yeah, just pop on, up in my head. Yeah, like, yeah. well, it's me. He's like you should go pick up those flags. Like something's telling me like, okay, uh, no, not happening. Hmm. Like now I'm like, I'm not big enough those flags. Uh, uh-uh. I'm just certain it's almost over. This is song three, whatever. And then a fourth song comes on and I'm like, Oh goodness. And I'm looking down and there's all these flags. There's four flags down. And I'm just like, Oh my goodness. And so I just feel again, like you should go pick up those flags. And I'm just, now I'm thinking to myself, well, if I go pick up these flags or whatever, then other people can praise and worship. Like, I, I'm not doing this because I have to. I'm doing this for the good of the, the service, right? Like, mm-hmm. I, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up these flags. That way, we should get them out of the way, okay? And it'll save time. We can move this along. I get out of here earlier. That's my justification, right? So I'm just, I'm trying to get up out of there. So I, I walk up there and I'm rolling them up. I'm like, well, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. So I'm rolling them up, putting them together, and all this other stuff. I'm putting them up, roll the next one, put them up, bring them over. And now, I'm, what about the flag man? Is he looking at you like, hey, why are you touching my flags, boy? No, he's probably on pl- flag six or seven now. <laughs> no, I think it's like early five. <laughs> and uh, he's waving it and just praising God. And I'm just like, okay. Mm, mm, okay. Can't, can't be bothered. Yeah. And um, so then I like go and pick them up and I roll them up and I actually put them in his, you know, nice, like little flag sleeve okay and uh put him in there and i go back and turn around he never picks another one up and then uh the praise and worship ends and he comes back and he puts his flag up the fifth one i'm like he got one (laughs) (laughs) and so he rolls it up puts it over and then about that time he comes and he beelines over for me and he looks right at me and he says i was praise and worship then and God told me somebody was going to pick up these flags. So thank you for listening to the voice of God. Oh, my word. Dude, my mind is blown. <laughs> I'm like, what do you, it was, all I had was a couple thoughts. Like, I didn't really know what was going on. I didn't even want to listen to him because I didn't want to go pick up those flags. Like, this whole time, I'm like, that was just me. And then it was like, it was just, I was having, I couldn't even pay attention to the service or whatever. I just was analyzing the thoughts that came through my head and, you know, I remember specifically feeling like I should go up there and pick those flags up. It was just like a feeling, a thought, like a, something I could easily dismiss. Yes. But it just kept nagging me. And so wow. I just, I walk over there and I, and I do it. And so it hit me in the middle of that service that God's voice is nothing more than a feeling or a thought inside of our heart and inside of our minds. That's right. So it's like a conviction. It's like a conviction that comes over you. And the deal is, I don't think God wants to talk to us. I think God does talk to us. We just don't want to listen. So I think we need to get in tune with uh, how to hear God, how to discern when is God talking to me. I think a, a perspective to take is, you know, you don't have a soul. You are a soul. You have a body. And that body is like an avatar that you uh, are transported to and fro. And it has all these signals that come, uh, comes up. You know, it's, it, it's, it's sin. It, want, it wants to do the lust of the flesh and the pride of life and feed its ego. And you got to discern between it and then dwelling in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit saying, hey, do this or don't do that. And sometimes you may not understand you may not agree you may think it's stupid but we're not called to agree with god we're called to be obedient and just listen so if you follow through in obedience you can be a blessing to others and god can bless you Amen. so learn to listen to god that's right <laughs> i'm eric and i'm josiah and this, this is, is project, project insight i have one thing 
that can be added to future videos if you have more similar to this. Okay. Is like you say, it's a thought. Um, like to check and see, make sure it aligns with the word. Because you might have a thought that says, "Hey, go kill that person." And like, you know, I'm oh, okay. Not yeah. I get better. I, I practice. Yeah. Yeah. When we do like video nine thousand one hundred and sixty-two, I'll probably be good. No, yeah, that'll come around eight thousand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it it's like at least it's like a little bit of. No, it won't be that long. 